Hi everyone, Linda here. I got some really interesting stuff at St. Finney's today, so I wanted to share it with you. I have been looking for these work baskets. My friend Leanne sent me one, and I've been looking everywhere for them, and today St. Finney's had a whole bunch of them. So these are the ones I bought. This one is, it, I don't see the date on this one. Oh, they have it covered up. I wish they wouldn't do that. But this one's older because it's yellow and it has the paper cover and it was only 15 cents this one's 1956 look at these embroidered so it's got embroidery things i just think the ads are so hysterical and um, that's what i like to use and these are fun to put in little smash books this one's from 1964 <laughs> look at these pages i mean this is so cute um 1954 again this one's 1960. Oh, I just love it. Okay, then this one's 1968. Now they're starting to have um, color covers. But this is the, these are the funniest ones, the ones that talk about bras and... <laughs> oh, they're hysterical. Anyway, and then this is Aunt Ellen's How To book and this is from Work Basket, but this is on Needlepoint and look at these great directions. I might even learn a few things from this one. I might not cut that one apart. This one I think is from the 70s, but it's still, see they're starting to have colored pages in it, but it still has some great pages, even this. I mean, I think that's really great. Okay, this one's 1976. Oh, this one actually has, like, I think these are like an iron-on very cool. I didn't notice that when I bought it. And St. Vinny sells these all for a quarter. See now in the 196 in the 1970s they were 50 cents. In the 1950s they were 15 cents. So that's pretty cool. And then I got some uh, patterns and I, you know, I just bought the ones that looked like no one cut in them so that I have a really big piece of tissue to work with. Look at this. And one lady, the one of the ladies that was checking me out said that she wished she would have saw that pattern because she probably would have used it. And I said, oh, do you want it? I think it might have been this one. Oh, no, no, no. It was, it was the baby one. She was wishing she would have seen that one. So I got four of those. Then I was been looking for something to put my um, Raisin Boat stamps in. I have them hanging up, and I really like that. But the bags, you know, they don't last very long. So I found this three-ring binder, and it's a D-ring binder. It was 50 cents. It actually has all this great paper in it to use, too, which I'm excited about. And last night I went online at Esmeralda's, Pro, I forget what it is, Pro something, and ordered some of these sheets for uh, stamps because they stick to it really nice. And I've been really worried about ordering these kind of things because I think, oh, what if they fall off? But they aren't falling off. And Raisin Boats always comes with like a, an extra piece that you can put on it. So, and I'm so excited because they're going to fit right in here. And I'm just so excited. And this book costs 50 cents. So I can um, decorate the front of it and do all kinds of things. So I'm really excited. Then the other really neat thing I got was this. It says Scrabble brand RSVP three-dimensional crossword. I have never seen one of these. And it was 95 cents. And look what's inside. Oh my goodness, look at all these. They're all wooden beads with letters on them. I mean, I could drill holes in those and string them. I have, there's all kinds of things I can do with them. I was so excited when I opened this box. Then I thought so this grid is what you're, there's a little stand for the grid, you know, and you're supposed to put the letters in the grids and do a crossword puzzle. But, um,. I was hoping I could put my markers in here, but the grid's a little bit too small. But I'll probably think of something to do with that. That's pretty cool, too. But I was really excited about these wooden blocks. I just, I don't know what it is. Wood with letters on it, and I have to have it. Okay, so then, let's see. What else is in this box? Oh, yeah. Then I got, this I thought was really neat. Look at all these. I got four packages of these Rolodex cards. I don't know how many are in each one. Quite a few. And it looks like nice 
kind of cardstock. And they're they, the bigger ones were 50 cents a pack. And they're pretty good size. Oh, and I got three of those. They were 75 cents a pack. And then the smaller ones were 50 cents a pack. And I'm, I'm not sure why they're two different sizes, but they even they're even cut different. And they had a Rolodex thing that held the little ones, but I think I like this one better. And I think I have something that these can go in. Um, Lisa and Yolanda had a really good idea where they were taking their ideas that they get on YouTube and or different places to, and doing it on a card so they just need to go back to the card and I think that's a great idea so I might use that for that. I've been in Rolodex swaps and I'm not sure if either one of these are the same size as the real Rolodex swaps but I thought they were a lot of fun. Then I found this cute little bag for 75 cents and it had these little tablets in it and this one says a little naughty and nice and I don't think this one's that old happy holidays because it's got the little magnet closure in it but I like having those in my purse and this one's older um, and this one has just a, a few pieces of yellow paper I didn't really that one didn't mean anything to me then there was this one I thought this was really different look at this all these pages are perforated so like you would tear off this piece and you know, maybe stamp your information on it and then tear it off and give it to somebody. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. But, um, so, and that's a really cool little leather case that it's in, too. So, I don't know. That one's got my curiosity up. Then this one I just had to get because, well, it's Cleveland, Ohio, and it's just paper. But in the back, it has calendar for 1952, and that was the year I was born. So when I saw that in the bag, I thought, okay, this has to come home with me for 75 cents. Then, oh, I found this hanger um, for belts, and I like that for 25 cents. No big deal. Um, then I got this cording, and I thought this would be neat to put on tags. It's kind of, I don't know, can you see? It's kind of bumpy or twisted or something. I don't know. That was 50 cents. Um, then I got these tiles, and these were a quarter a piece. They're glass tiles. And they didn't, I wanted it for my house address. I could um, put designer paper over them and use them for something completely different. Then I also got, oh, I got some more hook and eyes. Because these, well, these were a quarter. Originally, they were 25 cents, so that really wasn't a deal, was it? No, it was. But I like to put these, I put these on that sewing thing that I did. Then I got these two little uh, doilies. They were 50 cents, kind of cut work. Um, I got this bigger, like, table runner thing. And it's very pastel, but very old. Um, I think this is, well, could be hand embroidered, I'm not sure. But I thought last year I made some bags for Christmas um, when I gave people the friendship bread stuff. But I thought these would make nice bags. So I got that one. Oh, and I got a satin pillowcase because this makes really good flowers. Got another one of these doily type things table, whoops, sorry, table runner kind of things, tablecloths, and this one I thought was really pretty, and this one was only 50 cents, and this one's all hand embroidered all the way around it, and I, I thought that would make another really cute bag, and oh, I thought these are really cute, look at these, these are like, I think these are supposed to be little napkins, I don't know, they're very tiny, but look at all that embroidery work, and there's four of them here and they were only 75 cents so even putting those on a card or a layout whoops would be really pretty and I just think they're so darling some of the stuff like was real expensive and then like this was 75 cents I don't get it and then there's this really older linen piece and I, these are they used to put on you know the arms of chairs to keep them clean and this one was 25 cents and then I just got some more kind of satiny material and here's the box that I had that and I got this a long time ago I think at St. at St. Vinny's yeah for $1.20 
a dollar twenty, and it came with all these cards in it. Um, here's some life and health insurance owner cards. I mean, these are fun to put in minis. And then it had all these in it. Months of the year. Oh, that would be cool to use in a mini. I gotta get these out and use this stuff. <laughs> and and then it has like this sliding thing in there. But um, I was thinking it had the little things for the Rolodex. But both the Rolodex cards fit in there. Those are the little ones. And then these are the big ones. So they'll still work in there. I think this will be a fun box too to redo. See how it has this little handle on it. I kind of like this the way it is. I'm not sure if I'm going to recreate it or not. So that's the box I was going to put. That's the box I was thinking of when I was buying these today. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.